reporter, the guy on the bike, James Calm, and we're going to run into Chime and Reed and try to get some pictures of an opening of Sean Scully. Well, this is unexpected, and we're here in the, uh, the front atrium gallery, <laughs> We've got a uh, sculpture. This is titled Black Stacked Frames. And okay, I, I get this. So, uh, yeah, kind of uh, Kaus Oldenburg ish. We've got a bunch of oversized black frames, although huh, a lot of the people that I see these days are using thick black frames, so maybe they could repurpose this. This is form steel with painted finish, 15 by 11 by 11 feet. Well, I, uh, I dig the humor, although yeah, I've kind of gotten past my frame phase. I'm going to go in the main gallery. Uh, just from my brief perusal of the, the guide, I see that uh, Sean is painting all of these paintings on aluminum which is kind of interesting. I don't know, maybe he's been doing that for a while, but I think that kind of changes the uh, quality of the paint surface quite a bit. Well, we'll start out looking at this monster. It's titled Blue Note, oil and acrylic spray on aluminum. It's 110 inches by 320 inches. Each panel is 110 by 53 inches. I uh, first started seeing Sean's work, I guess, probably maybe in the early, mid 80s. And at that point, he was doing these very precise, almost like pinstriped stripe paintings. And uh, I believe most of them were horizontal stripes. Yeah, if you're not a painter, this wouldn't be so striking, but geez, switching over to uh, diagonal stripes, that's a change. And uh, Actually, I like the two sections of the uh, spray-painted stripes. Yeah, at some point, his, uh, his stripes his lines started to get thicker and more painterly. And, uh, well, now he's kind of uh, blown them up to the point where they're just big blocks of color 
also, uh, it was interesting to see him sort of move from a very tight, thin surface to a very juicy, uh, painterly, fat brushed surface. This is titled Block Red. And again, this is kind of different from what I've seen before in that uh, there's a reference here to an isometric cube. And as I was saying before, his a lot of his paintings and what, the things that he was initially known for were generally just stripes, maybe patches of stripes in various colors, and you would build up, or he would build up layers of juicy oil paint and uh, I think there's kind of a uh, move into a more physical space and putting these on aluminum makes these uh, surfaces what would I say less subtle more strident and the way the paint sits on them is different this is titled block brown 2016 oil on aluminum by 75 inches so that's about seven by six feet now I know a lot of people like uh, Sean's palette where he kind of begins it has it based in earth tones and the browns and then kind of, uh, extrapolates from that out into some grays and some more pure colors but this is interesting because he's, I guess, leaving these panels basically unpainted aluminum. I don't know, maybe they're lacquered, I'm not sure. About two inches deep. It's a nice uh, grouping of drawings. Now we get a kind of a basic idea of his uh, layouts here. Yeah, now I'm starting to see a relationship between uh, these block paintings and maybe his uh, sculpture of the stacked frames. So we've got these. and the stacks and the stacks within the blocks so I like the uh, the urgency it looks like oil stick with the fingerprints and I was thinking there's almost uh, an architectural quality and I like his uh, black sections into the second gallery this piece is titled brown silver tower 2016 core tin and stainless steel yeah. okay so this relates to his his stripes and moving into the kind of the block forms and uh, the browns are painted on there kind of makes me think of uh, Donald Judd a little bit okay 
so this is the kind of work that I first started seeing of Sean's. It's from 1979. It's a lot of uh, taping there, pinstripes. This is called Vertical Black 1979 Oil on Canvas. 84 by 28 inches. Oh, it's got a little fudge there. Some more works on paper. This is titled Wall of Light Cubed Watercolor on Paper. 22 and a half by 30 inches. Text on the bottom. It's another watercolor titled Wall of Light Cubed. A little more vertical. And uh, yeah. I admire the uh, spontaneity that he's putting into these. And also the, uh, yeah, the simple palette is nice. We'll run into the back room. Okay, now we've got another sculpture. This is titled Colored Stack Frames. Uh, now the question that we have to ask is if this is all welded together or can we take this apart? And better yet, do we have paintings that we can put inside here? Actually the, uh, the painted finishes on these are very nice. This is stainless steel with automotive paint. Ten by eight by eight feet. people on wheels. This is titled Stack. Watercolor on paper. Now let's see if this relates to this. Okay. Well, maybe he can stack these up in different arrangements if he wants to. Yeah, it's actually uh, kind of interesting that in certain ways he's gone back to previous ideas, but somehow he's done that by going forward and changing a lot of his approaches and uh, mediums and uh, forms. Com reporting on Sean Scully, Wall of Light, with Simon Reed, 547 West 25th Street in Chelsea. Thank you.